Pierre Omidia is an American software engineer, entrepreneur, and philanthropist who founded the popular online auction site eBay in 1995. In an effort to impress his girlfriend, he ultimately created eBay, a revolutionary online marketplace that let people sell and buy anything they wanted. Omidia's journey from starting the business as a hobby to creating an empire worth $27 billion is truly inspirational. And in today's video, we'll be sharing his success story with you. Pierre Omidia was born on June 21, 1967 in Paris, France. His parents are Iranian and they moved to France in order to pursue higher education and better opportunities. His mother, who holds a doctorate in linguistics, is an academic while Omidia's father is a surgeon. When Omidia was a young child, the family moved to Maryland in the United States after his father accepted a residency at John Hopkins University Medical Center. When Omidia was in ninth grade at the Potomac School in McLean, Virginia, he developed a keen interest in computers and would forego gym class to use the computer lab. When the principal became aware of his intense interest, he offered him the job of developing a program to produce catalog cards for the library. These first meager additions to Omidia's fortune came at $6 per hour. Omidia enrolled in Tufts University to pursue a computer science degree after finishing high school. He developed software at Tufts to aid Macintosh programmers with memory-related problems. Omidia distributed the program under a shareware license, but the few checks that eventually found their way to him were barely enough to cover the postbox's purchase price. Later, he also studied at the University of California, Berkeley. Omidia worked for Claris, a division of Apple Computer, after graduating from Berkeley. Soon after, he established Inc. Development with three friends to develop software for pen-based computing. Unfortunately, pen computing never became popular, but the free eShop did, although it was Omidia's first foray into working with an e-commerce company. They later changed the company's name to eShop Inc. and became so well known that Microsoft eventually bought it, with Omidia making a profit of about $1 million. After this, Omidia was employed by the software company General Magic in 1994 and also ran a side business creating websites. He was with Pamela Wesley at the time, the love of his life, and she lamented how difficult it was to locate other Pez dispenser accumulators online who shared her interests. Omidia launched an online auction service in his website in an effort to assist her, and it ultimately enabled him to help his fiancée find a Pez community. He gave the online platform the name AuctionWeb. He never provided warranties for the goods he sold, nor did he accept any liability for resolving any disagreements. All he did was build a website where sellers and buyers could communicate and auction off their goods. The website's first item to sell was a broken laser pointer, and within five months of its launch, eBay proved to be the most successful endeavor, bringing him more than 2 million users. It quickly attained an enormous popularity, and in 1996, it began selling airline tickets online. By the end of the year, it had held about 800,000 daily auctions, up from about 250,000 in the beginning of the year. The company changed its name to eBay in 1997 after being inspired by the name Echo Bay, which was already registered by a Canadian mining company. Due to heavy traffic on Omidia's personal website, he created another pricey website with the assistance of his friend and fellow programmer, Jeff Skoll, and moved eBay there. He began charging a few cents for listings and gathering small collectibles in order to cover the costs. Omidia was named chairman of the company in 1998, and shortly after, Meg Whitman was appointed president and CEO of eBay. Under Whitman's leadership, eBay kept thriving as she expanded the business's services through the launch of new sites, acquisitions, and joint ventures. Only three years after the website's founding, Omidia and Skoll became billionaires in September 1998. By the end of 1998, eBay had 2.1 million members and brought in $750 million in revenue, which was enough for e-commerce behemoth Amazon.com to take notice and begin hosting its own auctions in 1999. The e-commerce industry was completely changed by eBay's unwavering popularity. The success of eBay inspired many people to launch businesses with similar models, but nothing could stop the company's expansion. Omidia had unintentionally become one of the wealthiest online merchants by bringing together different people with related interests. Omidia was inspired by eBay's success to quit his job and devote himself more fully to developing the community and technology for the site. The business began tripling every three months, 
which inspired Omidyar to increase his investments and hire a management team with extensive tech experience. They presented Benchmark Capital with their business plan and exchanged 22% of the company for $22 million in checks. Today, Pierre Omidyar's estimated net worth is around $11.6 billion. Along with being a prosperous businessman, he and his wife Pamela are well-known philanthropists. They are the creator of the Omidyar Foundation, which supports a number of social causes including disaster relief, poverty alleviation and support for human rights. Omidyar has also consistently backed free press over the years. With a stated interest in journalism, he co-founded First Look Media with former Guardian reporter Glenn Greenwald, who published official documents revealed by Edward Snowden of the National Security Agency. The Intercept, the company's first online publication, debuted in early 2014. According to Omidyar in a statement, the project emphasizes the fundamental importance of a free and independent press for a democratic society. Omidyar also contributed a portion of the capital for the California-based Montage Resort and Spa with some of his financial resources. In 2010, he launched the Honolulu Civil Beat online news service, which provides information on events occurring in Hawaii. The online news outlet has also been successful and has established a solid reputation for itself in the field of investigative journalism. With eBay now worth $27.1 billion, many believe that this successful business tycoon is still going strong and is fully prepared to achieve greatness in cutting-edge online endeavors. We sincerely hope you took pleasure in watching this video as much as we did creating it for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye!